two parts to it. Yeah. We do the robot, and we also have to uh, research and make a presentation. Fourth, fifth, and sixth graders at Hillcrest Elementary are getting ready to show their skills in the first LEGO League Smart Move Robotics competition in Bozeman Saturday. Two teams, the Sasquatches and Team Avatar, have been programming and prepping their robots weekly after school since October. The competition tests students on a predetermined track that the robots must maneuver around. Tasks include catching rings and following tracks, each worth points. Both teams said they had their share of obstacles outside the track in preparing for the contest. Um, consistency, I think all of us have a different problem. Mine was consistency. Yeah, mine was getting a little off. Mine was finding the right quad track. I'm having a lot of Right, Definitely. Know. Teamwork. Having to work with each other has been pretty hard. Yes. Yeah, because, yes. I mean, we've got a lot of conflicting personalities, really. I mean, it's very hard to get anyone to work as a team. Uh, I'm having most trouble with the light sensor that I use. I put in a count, and sometimes when the battery's not um, fully charged, and the count will go off, and or it'll it'll just the robot will just keep going instead of stopping and turning. Each student had to develop their own program for missions, along with building the robot from the ground up to earn points for their team. For my mission, I have to I have to make the robot go forward, turn, grab this hoop here, and return to base. But I haven't exactly worked all of it out yet. I still have some work to do. And this is this. I can get it back to base, but I still, I'm still having trouble finding the right flaw I have to use. The computer programming proved to be both a fun and challenging task for several of the students who had to not only learn how to use the program, but also know the mathematics behind aligning the robot to the track. Probably, probably programming on the robot. It's yeah. one of my favorite things, and I'm really good at it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. This is where it uses the light sensors. And this is just a weight block, and all the other stuff is move. And this is the rest of my program. It just tells it when to go forward and backward. And while the competition promotes team building and critical thinking, when it came to agreeing on a name for their robots, they agreed to disagree. The killer. Killer robot. We never did. <laughs> we did. Yeah, why don't we call our robot the, the Banshee, like those things in Avatar? That sounds yeah. like the Banshees are awesome. Sasquatch. We have a name for the robot yet. We I haven't mean, we decided. Can. Jeffrey Flying the Flying Buffalo. Yeah, he's saying that, but it's not official to everyone. It's boats. true. And to hopefully earn some extra points with the judges, the Sasquatches are jazzing up their presentation by doing a mock newscast. Hoover nickel, Hoover nickel, Hoover nickel, Hoover nickel. Why? In the news tonight, a new finding on road safety. Plus, our road information packet has now been released. Reporting as for the Montana well Standard, this is Erica Yakovich.